If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're someone who's been here before and come back, welcome to you. Thank you for coming back. Today, it's a little sales update video and a little haul video of things that I've picked up over the, the well, last weekend and this weekend. Well, it's Saturday now. I just finished watching one of Karen Sales Clothes live videos, so I finally caught. Normally, I don't catch up on them. I don't mean not catch up. Normally I don't catch them because I'm at work, but she's done what she's just done one on a Saturday, a jumble sale haul, so I've just been watching that. And yeah, she gets some bargains, she gets some really good stuff at these jumble sales, which yesterday when I was taking my son to the dentist, we was going by the island and I seen a big sign that says there was gonna be a jumble sale. So Sully took the photo of it, he couldn't take it there on the way back, he got managed to get a photo of it, which is apparently next weekend. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I managed to get to it because I haven't been to a jumble sale since school, I think, when you used to do jumble sales at school. I'm almost sure it's that long, so that'll be interesting, hopefully get some bargains. Hopefully I don't forget that it's on, because like I said, I ain't been to one for years, so... I've got the photo of it at the time and the date and I have to Google where, where the actual place is. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Like I said, I've just watched Karen's videos and some of the stuff you get, people are practically giving it away. So basically, as well, I've been sending offers to watchers using, again, Karen's link. Uh, I've wrote it down, www.ebay.co.uk slash my overview if you want to write that down well you probably already know it anyway i think i'm like again last to the party everybody knew <laughs> everybody seems to know about stuff and i'm like the last one to uh to find out anyway so i've been sending offers to watchers i've sent about 10 offers and so far bugger all has sold so yeah so that hasn't done much help for me maybe they're just people being nosy just i mean all people like me looking at what other people have got and if I've got the same thing watching it to see when and how much it sells for so I'm going to get my old phone sorted and basically do screenshots of what I sold in March and we're still in March anyway so hopefully some more stuff sells okay I'll get my phone I'll be back in a sec right I've got my phone I have got a new phone my new phone come today oh it's getting caught cool. new phone come today I've charged it up it's downstairs and at the moment I'm not going to mess with it because I just don't like messing with any bit technical so when I'm in the mood a bit later I might have a look at it. I know the way most people get really excited about new stuff don't they? I don't. So yeah, so it's downstairs so I'm still using my old phone and I'm still using my old old phone to look at as a reference and apparently this new phone films in 4k so that's not going to be very good, is it? Are you going to see super close up? So I do apologise in advance for when I eventually start recording on the new phone, you're going to see everything, unfortunately. So I might have to use a filter. Anyway, first sale. Oh, there's lots of shoes. So first sale are these hotter shoes. They're quite nice. Sold them for 19 so I got full asking price for them. Next item these Russell and Bromley boots showed these the other week didn't I that I thought they were a bit scuffed put them on auction because I didn't know what sort of price to put them at and sold them for £26.98 which I was over the moon about right until I got a message from the buyer really nice message I had one job one job is all I had to do was put the size size 39 is size 6 isn't it I should know that that's my size but for some reason, I put that they were size 5 on the description, on the title, everywhere, I put size 5. Don't know why. <laughs> I, have no, I have no explanation or no excuse, apart from stupidity. But the buyer sent me a nice message saying that these are a size 6 and showed me a photo, which was on my listing as well at the bottom, which says, clearly says size 39. But they said they'll keep the label on because I do put one of them little labels on. One of these on now. My little... If you like this item can you see that mm, that's not very good anyway they said they'll leave this on 
and try and run the house and see if they can get on well with them. So, well, fortunately, they've left a positive feedback, but they still can send them back, aren't they? So, hopefully, put on an extra pair of socks or some thicker socks and they're all right. So, yeah, but that was a bit annoying. I was a bit annoyed with myself, but oh, there you go. So, they've gone for 26 98 and hopefully they don't come back. These new look boots, I think I've had these for ages. Let me have a look. I've, I've had them for that long. Somebody sent me an offer for £10, so I was like, yeah. Now, I know I've had them for ages because this picture is when I was on my radiator cover in my living room, which I no longer have anymore because when the British gas man came to fit our new boiler, for some reason, between him and Liam, managed to break my radiator cover. I don't know whether, I know that all the radiators had to be bled and everything, and when they took the radiator cover off, it fell apparently and broke. I'm a little bit suspicious if I'm honest because I don't think Liam liked the radiator cover. So amazing coincidence that I'm not accusing you Liam if you watch it. I'm not accusing you at all. I'm just saying. Strange that. Anyway, so that's how I know I've had these boots for ages. And um, when somebody sent me an offer for £10, I'm like, yeah. And they've left positive feedback. I can see they've left feedback here, so that's good. These um, night trainers, again, on my um, radiator cover that I no longer have. These were Sully's. I think he had these when he was in school, actually. They was in his old pump bag. So I cleaned them up and sold them. Got 29 99 so I was proper over the moon with that. These Skecher trainers, these were what was given me from my sister-in-law. Got full price for them as well. So, um, 74 I wish. <laughs> 24 99 for them. These... Not shoes. These um, films, the Fuji films, Instamax thingies. Remember, I showed them the other week. I got these and some game for one pound fifty. So what's that? Seventy p. So these cost me seventy p. And somebody sent me. I think I probably under priced them because I, I put them on for twenty four ninety nine on new stuff. And somebody sent me an offer for twenty two. And I'm like, just yeah, get rid, get rid. <laughs> like you know, I should have waited, but. I just tried to get some sales, so £22 have left positive positive feedback, so happy days. These Topshop shoes sold for £14.99, so again, happy with that. These Karen Miller, um, oh, I nearly called them trainer shoes, I showed them on the haul, I got these from Worcester, I may have undersold them, but sold them for £19.99 and they sold within, was it a day or two? quite quick so I'll proper chuff with that these f and f sandals i think i got these off the pound table i'm almost sure that i got these from st mary's they're on the pound rail not rail <laughs> table outside 12.99 for them which i think is good for just um a pair of like supermarket train why do i keep calling not trainers sandals wedge heel sandals so £12.99, so from a pound. This Comet Relief Puppy, I've had for ages. I, d I think I got this out of this one shop where there's a lot of them here that do like a basket for, for a pound, teddies. So I think this was out of that basket. So I sold that for £9.99, so I've had positive feedback from that. These Marks and Spencer's boots were brand new. Got the, did I have the box? I'm going to try to wait for it for a load. I think they had the box and a tag on for £69 <laughs> these cost. Marks and Spencer's. Somebody sent me an offer for £26. So, again, I've had them for ages. So, I was like, yeah, please take them. So, they're gone. These Skechers shoes, these are what I bought the other week. I think I shared these in a haul. I don't know what shop did I get them from. I think, again, uh, St Mary's. Um, St Mary's in Wheelie Castle. So, $19.99 they sold pretty quick as well so i'm proper happy with that these clark's men's shoes i'm sure i showed these in the haul i'll send i show everything in my haul video so i'm sure you've seen these i would have paid probably about four pounds for them sold them for 22 pounds so i'm proper chuffed with that these hotter shoes again i can't remember how much I paid over four or five pounds for them i think they were new sold them for 26.99 this is where the buyer sent me a message first before they bought them because I'm 
I have a habit of putting my code where I put them like a uh, box 2B on the end of my listing. So they sent me a message to say what what does that mean? No stock code here, 2C. So I changed it, took it off there and put it in my description stock code 2C. And actually they bought and then they sent a message saying, okay, I says, oh, sorry, that's my stock code. So took that off the listing, up, revised it, revi revised it, yeah. Updated it, it's another word. <laughs> Updated it and they bought them. So fingers crossed, they're happy with them. Last thing are these kickers, kicking me a top cord on there. Kicker shoes, which Liam's actually took to the, um, not the sorting office. What's it called where you take your, he took it to the shop to be posted. I've got £15 for these, so Liam's took them round, so hopefully they'll get them, um, I don't know, Tuesday, Tuesday-ish, hopefully. Depends on Hermes, doesn't it? Yeah, depends on Hermes, because the other week when I took my boxing, I took a few boxes in, and apparently he said the guy hadn't been for two days. He's got to phone up the, like, the head office people or the sorting office to complain. He said, we've got loads of backlog of stuff there. And I thought, bloody hell, some of them are my stuff, like, you know. So hopefully that don't happen again. So mainly all shoes. I am more of a shoes, but I do prefer dealing with shoes more than clothes, if I'm honest. I know clothes don't take up a lot of space, but like I had a little moan in my last video, I just find clothes, I just don't want to steam them. And I don't want to measure them. I'm really lazy. <laughs> Although, yeah, I think I did pick up a pair of trousers, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But again, shoes. So if you bear with me a minute, I'll go and get them because they're actually still in the living room in the carrier bag. So I better go and get them because they're taking up a lot of room and Liam will moan if they're there too long. <laughs> so I'll see you in a minute. Bye. I just realised then I probably sounded a bit negative about Liam moaning about the mess. He doesn't moan at all, to be honest, about the mess. It's bit of a piss take about the mess because Liam is very everything's all nice and neat and tidy and if you looked in my wardrobes there my clothes are just rammed in there's no organization loads of the clothes are all on the floor and I just pick stuff up off the floor and yet Liam's wardrobe everything's all neatly colour coordinated he's like a bit of a perfectionist even all these toiletries all nice and neat but it's like, it's like i have my clothes there this side and this side i've got shelves with all my toiletries in which are all in plastic boxes and i end up buying loads of stuff twice because i can't find it so like i said liam doesn't moan about the mess at all it's just a bit of a joke <laughs> like, you know, like when it comes in here that cabinet there that he actually built has got all our towels and everything in and because of all the crap that I've got in here he has to climb over stuff to get in there and then because it's so rammed in there every time he opens it all the stuff falls down so I'm struggling a little bit at the moment for space as you can see this room is like a tiny little room and my I've got two sheds in the garden which are basically knackered if I'm honest the one is like a little summer house which is tiny which I've got all my gym equipment because I bought loads of gym stuff like treadmill and cross trainer and everything and didn't use them so they're all piled up in there and the other week they about all came off the roof so Liam went and fixed it because I said although I'm not going to use them well I may use them in the future I'm not using them just yet I don't want them ruined because they cost a lot of money so he went out just before the hail last Sunday and fixed that and then he's built me another shed which again I wouldn't advise buying sheds offline online because the quality isn't brilliant in fact i'm even looking i was looking is it uh, on instagram there's a lady on there oh, what's it always flipping she's always flipping i'm sure i know she's always flipping like she and she resells for a living and she's showing them concrete type sheds and i'm seriously looking in to get rid of them get rid in get rid of them too because I can't see what's the point of spending any money making them better when I could have one big shed. So she's always flipping. Yeah, that's it. She's always flipping. And she was showing pictures of some and they look proper nice, proper concrete ones. And I just thought that would be ideal. So I'm 
seriously thinking about doing that at the moment because my loft does my head in because of how oh, okay, but it's because of the roof I just can't bear the the roof just does my head in and the shed I've got all my jewelry in all in little boxes and everything I just want everything all in one place that would be brilliant just imagine that having like storage and a place to pack stuff everything all in one room was at the moment everything's all around the house so anyway so that yeah i'm supposed to be talking about what i've bought anyway right so i'll shut up and i'll start and show you what i bought the first things three items i got from the charity shop which is local down the road you know the one the rough one now i'll just mention that the greggs used to have a security guard outside and now they've got rid of the security guard to be honest he didn't look that scary he looked smaller than me and it was always on his phone when you walk past they've actually put like glass barriers up you know like the post offices have glass barriers up now so you have to put they've got like a gap where you have to put your stuff money in that for it anyway so it's a little bit rough but the charity shop's super cheap so basically this box was on the floor amongst us it's a bit of a junk shop as well there's no organization at all it's literally everything's everywhere so this box was on the floor Clark's with a pair of boots in so the pair of boots in the, there's one of them the one still in there and next to it was one of these boppets now Sully had one of these years ago and I remember selling it I can't remember how much but it wasn't a lot because I don't go for a lot but for some reason I must have got a bit confused and thought I got a bit of money for it like you know better than what I thought so I says to her, how much for your boots and your boppet? And she went, one pound for the boots and two pound for the boppet. Well, okay, three pounds, I'll have that. So yes, I was over the moon with them. So I got them for three pounds because the receipt again is in there. Somebody's left the receipt in. And these were originally 69 99 So I'm over the moon with them. They're not new, but they're in pretty good condition. Look, I don't know. I don't think the person wore them much, look yeah there was a yeah there was a, had a like i said they've still got the um receipt in there so i've got a chuff for that three pounds for them I, I mean look at them they're really nice so i got that and then as i was leaving they have loads of stuff outside as well on the floor and that and they had loads of shoes all piled up in the baskets so i thought i have a mooch why am here look what i got oh bloody arm another pair of Clark's boots, can you see? Clark's. And these are in really good condition again, look. So I went in again, a sandwich for these boots, and she's like, pound. I'm like, thank you. Pound for two, so that's what, four pounds? Yeah, that's right. Four pounds for two pairs of Clark boots, and it does work. I'm showing you it works, just in case. If I sell it, and then the buyer, why won't that work? And then the buyer said it don't work, so it does work. So you can, you're, you're out. Oh mate, yeah. So that's uh, the bop it, but they only go for a couple of quid. But either way, I'm over the moon with them. So I'll just sort out the other stuff. So the next charity shop, I went in at first and just couldn't see anything worth having apart from this, another monkey. So I bought these. <laughs> Somebody's selling one at the moment, but I can't see anyone that's been sold. So this was two pounds. So I was hang on, can you see? Two pounds. So I've seen it and I thought, oh, I can't. No, I don't think it's worth much. So I left it and then I went outside to have a look on the, you know, the bargain table that's outside. And basically, I've got all these friends, all brand new, series what's the series two complete series four to nine and they're all brand new and sealed and they've still got the security tag things on so because i wasn't sure about you know like the poundland ones where they all reseal them but some of them have got like i said the security and the original prices of 21.99 hm hmv yeah hmv so but i mean they're a bit battered so some of the boxes are a bit all battered but they're all brand new they were a pound each so i thought i had a look they don't sell for a lot 
It was originally $49.99. The arse and heart in here is expensive. But the gun, it gone down to $21.99 and I got it for a quid. But I didn't actually get it for a quid. So I got all them. So six DVDs. So I said they are a bit bash. I think, you know what, I'm going to... I might just put these as in the bundle. Because they only sell for a couple of quid each. So I got them. The girl monkey. And while I was looking outside at these, now what happened was I didn't buy the girl monkey first. I seen these outside, but I had them. And then I thought, well, if I'm having them, I might as well buy monkey as well. So when I went back into paper then, after I had a look in the oh, see all that junk there. Move that along. You don't want to see all the junk on the cabinet there. So they've got like again, they said they got the basket with four for a pound teddy, so I don't know why I look in it. So <laughs> I got a meerkats. I, what I might do is when I get some others, just bundle them up. Because, like I say, for four for a pound, I just couldn't resist. I got a meerkats, another little monkey, and I'm going to put this with the girl monkey. And I've got another monkey for sale. So I'm going to bundle all them up. This is one of the ones that stick, got the little sticky things on. So I got that, which is going to go with the girl monkey. Uh, again, I don't know why. I got a puppy. Winnie the Pooh, which you put your hands in, so pop it one of them. And I got another one of these, what are they, beef eaters? Because I've got a large one up for sale, which I've had up for sale for ages and nobody's interested in it. So I thought if I put this with it as well, it might look a bit more appealing. So that's all what I got. But basically, when I got to the till, those were four for a pounds. That was the monkey was two pounds. So that's three pounds, and then it would have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, nine pounds. And he said, just call it six. So just give us six quid. And they're yours. <laughs> Thanks, mate. So that's right, isn't it? Yeah, six. That's about right. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, basically, so I got these for less than a pound. So I'm proper tough, but like I so said, they are a bit bashed. And to be honest, I don't even know if any they are proper bashed the corners, but they are brand new. So I'm going to. Put them as a bundle and fingers crossed they'll sell hopefully there's some friends fans still out there so yeah so I'm over the moon with them so i'll just sort out my other stuff so from there which was bartley green i went to hal's owen which is my favorite place to go charity shopping because it's got the pound shop there so went in the pound shop and there was bugger all there so <laughs> it just seemed to be a lot of tatty if i'm honest and it was rammed as well so you couldn't really look so then i went to shelter yeah shelter these were in the half they got all clothes half price so it was three pounds originally and got it for 150 now it was in the women's section but when you look up your face it says men's i don't know if you can see it it's a men's pair of trousers like a burnt orange colour but the size 30 which i think is quite small for a bloke but although i said i'm not dealing with clothes at the moment i just couldn't leave these behind i mean one pound fifty for a pair of north face trousers i don't know if the trousers are as popular as the coats but i might try them on and if they fit me i might keep them keep them for the garden that'd be handy if we're knocking around the garden when the weather gets nice i actually want to go out in the garden at the moment no i don't want to go in the garden it's all horrible so got them and then the next shop which is up one of the alleyway shops got these it's a clark's day again everyone i don't know what's going on with clark so got these another pair of clark's for 450 you can see which look very similar to the ones that i got last week paintings so i was quite pleased with them and then oh one's just fell Another pair of Clarks for four pounds. Clarks again. Quite smart shoes actually. I was quite pleased with them as well. They were four pounds. Well, I could just say, sorry, <laughs> just repeating it out. So, and these are from the same shop as well as these boots. These really nice boots. Now, it's a lot of money for me to spend on Clarks. Six pounds. But. I seen somebody's got. Some, I can't see any completed and sold, but somebody's got some up for sale for thirty odd at the moment. So I think I might aim for the same because they're quite nice. And for six pounds, hopefully, like if I, if I get for twenty five, thirty, I'll be happy with that. So that's all my haul. 
not a lot again but lots of shoes again so that's it i've got to list them all i still didn't list the stuff from last week i'll just put them all back in bags and oh, i think i'm developing a pile of stock a pile of shame because it just seems to be loads of stuff in my loft that i've got to list that i haven't got around to listing but i might do a sale on my shop again to try and just clear some of the stuff because that says me sending offers to watchers isn't working they don't want this stuff nobody wants my stuff so i might do a sale just to hopefully gather some interest i don't know but that's everything so thank you all for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that'd be great thank you so take care everybody and good sales if, you, if you're an ebay seller or an amazon seller hope your sales are doing really well and if you're doing car boots if you're going to car boots that you get some really good bargains because if i remember i'm going to that jumbo sale and i haven't been to a, i don't even know the, what you do at a jumbo sale i think you have to pay entry in that don't you i don't know it's going to be uh interesting you watch i'll go and forget it forget all about it now <laughs> get off saturday morning but i wasn't i supposed to be doing something uh, anyway take care everyone bye